All right, so today we're going to be doing another lab. This lab is identification of an unknown salt. So we have three unknown salts, uh, salts J, K, and L. So here we have unknown salt J, unknown salt K, and unknown salt L. Okay, we're going to try to figure out which ones they are by doing all of these tests. So the tests we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a flame test going to be looking at them underneath the microscope to see their crystal structure. Uh, we're going to be testing with barium chloride. Okay, uh, the barium chloride, what it's going to do is that we're going to see if it creates a precipitate. If it creates a precipitate, that means that the um, ion, one of the two parts of the salt, actually has a sulfate in it. Okay, and we're going to be doing a silver nitrate test. So the silver nitrate test, almost like the barium chloride test, this one is going to tell us if there is chlorine ions in our salt, okay? We're going to be doing uh, litmus paper testing. So this one we've seen before, red litmus, blue litmus, red turns red, stays red or turns blue, blue turns red or stays blue. Depending on which one it is, it's going to be either an acid, a base, or a neutral, all right? And the last one we're going to do is electrical conductivity just to see if our salts actually conduct electricity, if they are electrolytes, all right? So let's start. Okay, now we're gonna start testing our salts. So let's start by testing our salt J. Let's try to see the color. I have here the solution on a little metal loop. Try it again. Let's see what color. What color do we see? I see kind of green. Right? Uh, there we can see the green. Not for a super long time, but we can actually see it. Okay, so this is our salt J, green. Okay, let's go on with our salt K. Okay, so our salt J, it's a bright orange, yellow orange. Yeah. All right. That was our salt K. Let's see it again, just a little bit more. Okay, let's do our last one. Our salt L. like light pink color. All right? Light pink. Light pink color. It's our salt L. So what we're going to do now is that we're actually going to be doing our barium chloride test. So uh, we have our spot plate right here and we're going to be testing for our salt J here, K here and L here. Okay, 
So this is an acetate spot plate um, so that we can actually see it with a white background or we can actually see it with a black background just to see because when we're looking for precipitate, we never know what color it can actually become. So first thing we're going to do, we have our unknown J. I'm going to add two, three drops of our unknown J into our well. And now, being careful, we don't want the tip of this going into our liquid. We add above it and we add three drops. Alright, let's see. Do we see any precipitate? So here we can actually see that we do have a precipitate because our liquid went from clear to actually having it become all opaque. I'm going to use a stirring rod just to mix it so we can actually see. Yep. Nice and opaque. So when it becomes opaque like that, it, when you have two clear liquids and it becomes opaque, it means that there is a solid that has been formed. That means it's a precipitate. And we're going to write that down in our table that we obtain a precipitate. Let's make sure the stirring rod is properly cleaned. And now let's move on to K. Okay, unknown liquid K. Uh, sorry, unknown salt K. Three drops of K. So we can see it's clear. Adding our barium chloride. drops. Black background. Still stays clear. No change, no precipitate. All right, let's write that down. Unknown salt L. Three drops. Barium chloride. Oh, yeah. You can see it's very opaque. So this one, we have a precipitate as well. Let's write this down. So we have two of these that have become, that have precipitate, that have become opaque, and L has stayed clear. Very good. Let's move on to the next test. Now we're going to be doing our silver nitrate test. Let's do salt, uh, salt J, three drops, okay, so we see that again, clear, silver nitrate, three drops, still clear. Taking a stirring rod. Stays clear. Okay. Excellent. Let's move on to salt K. Salt K. Okay. Clear. And our silver nitrate, three drops. Ooh, that's very opaque. Ooh, yucky, yucky. You can actually see really well. Look at all this precipitate. Yep, 
this one. So we're going to write down that this one has a precipitate. K has precipitate. Do a known L. Okay, that's clear. And silver nitrate. Still clear. Still clear. All right. So, J and K, these ones stay clear, no precipitate. K has a precipitate. All right, let's make sure we have all this written down. Okay, so now let's do our litmus paper testing. So we're going to divide this paper up into three. Litmus paper, red litmus paper, blue litmus paper, Again, litmus paper, it helps us identify if our cell is going to be an acid, a base, or neutral. And we need both of these papers. So let's cut them up and put them here. All right now, so we're going to start with our J. One drop and one. So we see here our red litmus paper stays red, our blue litmus paper. Well, let's just move this little drop. Oh, there we see. You can see that it's not super blue anymore. Let's just dab it a bit. Okay, you can see that it kind of changed color just a smidge, right? It's not super pink, but just a smidge. So we can actually say, yeah, it kind of turned red, okay? So we're gonna write down slight red color. Let's move on to K. So our red litmus stays red. And our blue litmus stays, oops, our blue litmus stayed blue. Excellent. Let's move on to L. All right, so here, red litmus stays red. 
Her blue litmus turned red. Aha. So this is a good indicator because not many salts turn the litmus paper different color. Okay, let's write all of these down. Okay, last step that we need to do, we are going to be doing our electrical conductivity. Again, we're using this spot plate for the electrical conductivity. We're going to write down which wells we're using. Okay. Unknown salt J, three, five drops. electrical conductivity meter so our electrical conductivity meter if it the light turns on like this that means our solution has it electrolytes so let's test this out all right so the light turns on let's try those electrodes properly Move on to unknown salt K. Light turns on. And finally, unknown salt L. the light turns on. Okay, clean this up, write this down, and let's go over the results. <laughs> 